All right, welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, we're going to go a little bit deeper and understand what exactly middleware is in Express. So in the last episode, we talked a lot about post requests. We also dived just a little bit into middleware. You can see that on lines six and seven, we registered two middleware functions. We registered the express.json middleware and we, we registered the express.url encoded middleware. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what exactly middleware is and how you can use middleware to make your code a lot more reusable and modular. So what exactly is middleware in Express? Well, middleware in Express is really just a function. Okay. It could be any ordinary function. It could be a function that does uh, a computation of like two numbers. It could be a function that just simply logs hello world. It could be any, any type of function. Okay. And that function is to be called during the life cycle of our request. So what exactly do we mean by that? So in Express, you can think of every single parameter after the route name as a middleware. In fact, the actual request handler, this callback function, which is currently the second parameter, that's also technically a middleware too. And you may have not known this, but the request handler actually takes in a third parameter called next. Okay. And the next function, well, it's actually a function. First of all, the next parameter is a function that allows you to invoke the next middleware. That's why it's called next for the convention. So for example, if you want to perform some kind of task, and then once you're done with that task, you want to go to the next middleware, you would call this next function, okay? And another thing with middleware in Express is that each middleware function has access to three parameters total, okay? The request object, the response object, and the next. Uh, uh, not object, but it's a function, okay? So what that means is in each middleware function, you can perform some, some kind of task with the request object, you can do something with the response object as well if you want to. And if you want to proceed to the next middleware, you can then just call the next function. And what that will do is it will just go to the next middleware. And if that middleware uh, wants to go to the next middleware, it has access to the next function. So it can call the next middleware. And it's basically like a chain of middlewares. So you can pretty much chain middlewares to execute in a sequential order. So let's go ahead and actually implement some middleware so it makes a lot more sense so we're not just talking about it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this app.get right over here. And what I'm going to do is in between these two parameters, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and introduce a new parameter. This is going to take in a request, response, and next parameter. Okay. So really this, all we're doing is we're just adding a second parameter. Okay. Or not second parameter, but a third parameter, but we're just adding it in between, uh, the path as well as our main request handler. So all I'm going to do inside this function is I'm going to go ahead and call console.log. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and say before handling request. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call this endpoint. Now, if you look in our console, you can see that it says before handling request, but you'll notice that right now we're not getting a response back. Why is it not giving us a response back? Well, let's, let's dive a little bit deeper of what's going on. So you can see that it's definitely invoking this function. Okay. But it's not giving a response back to the client, which is why this is still loading. The reason why, is because we're not sending anything back to the client. Well, you might ask, well, aren't we sending something back in this callback function right over here where we have this response that send? Well, yes, that function is going to send a response back. But the problem is right now we're still stuck in this second, uh, the second parameter, this callback function that logs before I handle a request. We need to go to the next middleware. Okay. And we do that by calling the next function. So what we do is we just simply call next and now let's go ahead and make a request again. And now we get a response. So what exactly just happened? 
Well, you can see that when we made a request to app or not app, but slash groceries, the first thing that happened was it executed this function. It logged before handling request. Okay. And then it calls the next function. When you call the next function, what this does is it goes to the next middleware to execute. Okay. And remember, the request handler function is also technically a middleware too. Okay. It's just common convention. You typically don't necessarily need to add the next function inside the request handler because most of the time in your request handler, you're going to handle it using the response object anyways. So there's no need to use a next function. Okay. But you can see right over here, um, we have the request and response object here. We call response.send because now after we executed this callback function, it goes to the next middleware, which is this one over here. Now, if we actually try to add the next parameter here, and if I call next, and let's go ahead and just copy this and paste it here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just, I can actually just omit these parameters and I'll just go ahead and write console log that says finished executing yeah, request. Now let's go ahead and click send. And let's see what happened in the logs. If we look at the logs, you can see that it says before handling request, finished executing get request. Okay, so you can see that even though inside here, uh, we are sending a response back, we can still call next and it'll still execute a middleware function. And we can keep it going. We can keep on calling next until there's no more middleware function to be called. So for example, I can pass in these parameters again. Let me go ahead and call next again. And let's add a fourth uh, function as a parameter. And I'll just say the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out. You can see it logs before handling request, finished executing get request, and then the end. Okay, not, not so very useful middlewares, but you get the idea. One thing that I should also mention is that um, if you if you send a response back to the user and then you call another middleware, so let's say, for example, we're calling next over here in the second function, right? Now, if I actually go inside this third function over here, and if I try to call response.send like this, right? I'll go ahead and send a 403, okay? If we click on send, you're going to actually get an error in the console. So it's still going to give us back the response fine because we already sent the response already. But when you go ahead and call this function over here, this middleware, it's going to error out because you cannot send a second response. You can only send one response. So that's why it's giving you this error saying you cannot set headers after they are sent to the client. And that makes sense because we already modified the response object. We already sent the response back to the client we can't send it again. So that's one thing that I wanted to mention. It's just so you can be careful. Okay. But like I said, um, this is, uh, this is really good for like post-processing. So not necessarily, maybe you don't want to send a second response, but you want to like do something later, but hopefully you get the idea of it. And we can do the same thing with the post request too. Now, another thing that we can do. So let me go ahead and just actually remove this and we'll bring it back to what we had before. Another thing that we can do is we can actually create a function and apply that middleware, apply that function middleware to multiple routes or globally. Okay. So let's say, for example, I want to apply a simple log. So for every single route that is being, uh, that is being called, right? I want to log a message. Okay. So let me go ahead and go up here. And what I'll do is I'll call app.use and I can just pass in a function. So you can do function or you can use an you can just use the arrow function. But remember, it's going to take in the request, the response, and the next object. Okay. So what we can do is we can go ahead and console log something like rec.url and then we'll just call next. So, and it, it's also important that you register the middleware in specific order. 
So if I were to put my middleware down here after all of my routes, it would actually not even work. So if I try to click send, if I look in the console, nothing's being logged. But if I actually move this back up to right over here, let's click send again. You're going to see that it logs the route groceries. Okay. Um, if I go ahead and make a post request, so let's add bananas. Okay. You're going to see it logs groceries again. Click get logs groceries again. We can also log uh, not just the URL. Let me actually log the method too. So there should be a property called method. Yep. And then we can go ahead and log the URL like that as well. You can log other stuff too if you want to. Okay. But this is how you can create a simple logging middleware. So if I click on send, you're going to see now it says get and then the path. And of course, if I were to do a post request, it would do the same thing, post and then the path as well. Okay, so that's how you can create a simple function middleware and apply it to multiple routes. Okay, and like I said, you can also apply middleware uh, to specific routes. So let's say, for example, if you only wanted to log uh, for get requests, you can just take this function, paste that there, just like what we just like what I showed you like a couple of minutes ago. Okay, and you could do the same thing. So hopefully. That gives you a better understanding of what middleware is. You're going to see a lot of middleware in Express because literally Express is literally just made up a bunch of middleware functions, right? So you're going to see a lot of that. So definitely get used to understanding what middleware is and understand that it just literally acts as a middleman, okay? So it can take the request or the response. It could do something with either one of them. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be modifying the request, okay? And it's going to go ahead and call the next function and then go to the next middleware. Okay, so think about it like this. Before we actually visit all of these routes, right? Before we actually successfully visit slash groceries with the get request or slash groceries with post, all of these middlewares are applied before we actually hit these endpoints. And it makes sense too because let's take this. Let me go ahead and take the app.use. Uh, express.json and express.url encoded. Let me move this after the routes. And if I were to go back to the postman, or go back to postman, not the postman, if I were to go back to postman, if I click send, you're going to go ahead and see in the logs, it gives us undefined. And even if I try to call the get request, we actually added null, which is not supposed to happen but of course because we registered the middleware after our routes okay so this is what i meant when i said the middleware registration has to be in correct order because we added it after the routes were registered uh the middleware wasn't even applied to these routes at all so you need to make sure that they are registered before your routes are registered otherwise it's not going to work okay so hopefully that makes sense so thank you for watching uh, this episode about middleware. Uh, in the next episode, we'll dive a little bit deeper into other request methods as well. And then uh, we'll slowly move into more advanced topics because uh, realistically, these are just the most uh, common stuff that you'll really deal with in Express. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next episode. Peace out.